the beautiful things about families is that everyone's is different. For Aaron and his sister Jennifer, they lived a happy life with their dad. He was always so much fun. They played games and ate pizza. That was until Helga came into the picture. Their dad married Helga and she was so mean. It started to change everything and it got hard for Aaron and Jennifer. This is the story of the mean stepmom. Aaron, get outside. What? What's wrong, Helga? Look at this. Look at the lawn. It needs to get mowed. Now get to it. But the lawn looks perfectly fine, and I'm doing my homework. I have so much studying to do. Do you think this lawn looks fine? Are you out of your mind? That's ridiculous. I don't have time to do it right now. It's a school night. I have so much work to do. Well, do you think I really care about your schoolwork? You can learn whatever it is you need to be doing later. Get that yard work done. But Helga, this isn't fair. I'm going to fail at school if I don't study. I've got a really big test coming up. Oh, 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 just wait until I tell your father about how you've been talking back to me. What? No, Helga, don't tell him. I haven't done anything wrong. Why are you being like this? You haven't been doing anything wrong. You've just been giving me attitude for the past 20 minutes. Look, you're being unreasonable. You're being unreasonable. Now go mow the lawn. Fine, whatever. What are you doing in here? Oh, uh, hi Helga, welcome to my room. Welcome to your room? Well, welcome to my house. You need to lose that attitude. Whoa, hey, <laughs> you kind of stormed in here. I mean, I wasn't doing anything, I'm just, you know, on the computer, playing Roblox. You know what, it'd be really great if you could be useful and do something around here. What do you mean? Well, I need the groceries. Why don't you go out there and grab them? But Helga, I, I can't go get the groceries. I don't even know how to drive. I don't even have a car. Well, I don't have a tan and I need to be soaking these toes in the pool. Well, I I'm sorry, Helga, but it's kind of illegal if a minor drives a car, don't you think? Drive? You think I'd let you drive one of these cars? Why don't you stop that attitude and get those legs moving and walk down to the grocery store? Oh, fine. I'll go. Oh, hey, Aaron. <laughs> See you're out here mowing the lawn. Oh, man, I can't believe this. It's a school night. I have so much to do. Let me guess. Helgo yelled at you to do it? Of course. She pulled me out of the house while I was studying. I know, and she barged into my room and demanded I went to go get the groceries, so that's what I'm doing now. But that's like four miles away. What, does she expect you to walk all the way there and carry them back? Yeah, I mean, I guess so. I don't know. We need to do something about her. She's the worst. I know. I can't believe Dad doesn't see how mean she is. I mean, she's even kind of mean to him sometimes. <sighs> I know. Well, maybe there's a way we can try and show Dad how awful she is. Yeah, that's true. Maybe we can get her, like, to yell at us or something in front of him. Show who she really is. Ooh, yeah, I like that idea. Yeah, I do too. Well, maybe we can do it tonight when you get back from the store. We can think of a good plan. That's a great idea. All right, well, here I go. Off to go grocery shopping. Aaron, why don't you get up and get us some popcorn? Yeah, sure. I can do that. All right, this is perfect. All I gotta do is burn the popcorn and Helga's gonna get so mad. Uh, Helga? Yeah, what is it? I think I burned the popcorn. Oh no, silly Aaron, I can't believe you. That was our last bag. Ah oh, man, I'm sorry, family. I must have forgotten to pick some up at the grocery store today. Uh, are you mad, Helga? 
Mad? No, of course not. How could I be mad? Now come sit back down next to me. But wait, I was the one that went grocery shopping and I didn't see popcorn on the list. What are you talking about? You didn't go grocery shopping, I did. What? No, you didn't, Helga. You don't do anything around here. Hey, what is with you two? Why are you guys attacking Helga? Because, Dad, she's so mean all the time. I've had enough of both of you guys. Get to your rooms now. Fine, whatever. I don't want to be down here anyway. Yeah, I don't want to be down here either. Bye. Oh, wow. Isn't it such a gorgeous day? Yeah, it is beautiful out. I feel really bad that the kids are stuck in their rooms. Why would you feel bad? They were way out of line talking to me like that. I don't know. I mean, it wasn't that big of a deal. The kids just seemed upset, that's all. Well, if you ask me, they should be grounded for their whole lives. They're really rude and disrespectful. They're just going through something, that's all. I mean, you know, they're just at that age. But hey, I found a cruise that leaves in a couple of weeks. How about you think about going with me? Oh, a cruise, huh? I haven't been on a family vacation in a long time. I'll ask the kids if they want to go. But won't they be in school? I don't know if they can miss any school. Well, uh, you know, I wasn't really planning on bringing the kids. You know, since they've been so bad lately, I don't think it's a good idea to gift them a vacation. I don't know. It doesn't feel right just leaving them behind. Well, you know, I, I already bought the tickets and I used your credit card, so there's no backing out now. I can't believe you would do that. Aw, come on. I just wanted to bring you on a vacation. You know, you work so much, it'd be nice to have a little getaway. Oh, well, maybe you're right. And if you already paid for it, we might as well go. <laughs> what are you so happy about, Helga? What am I so happy about? I'm happy that your dad and I are going on a trip and we're not going with you guys. <laughs> oh, come on, Helga. Do you seriously think we'll buy that? Our dad would never leave us alone. Yeah, you must be lying, Helga. Why are you being like this? It's really mean. I'm not lying. That's just what you get for trying to get me in trouble the other night. I get a vacation and you guys get stuck here. This isn't fair. What did you tell our dad? It's none of your business what I told your father. I know what you two are up to. You were just trying to get rid of me. Well, here's a reality check for you. You're never getting rid of me. You're the worst. Oh, yeah, you really are, Helga. Well, you know what? You two are the worst. And that's why I'm going on vacation and you're staying here. <laughs> well, Aaron, do you like your ice cream? I do, Dad. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I felt really bad for grounding you the other day. Didn't seem right to keep you up in your room. Yeah, I know. Well, that's because Helga's been so evil, and she doesn't care about us at all, Dad. You need to cut the act, Aaron, okay? I get it. You're upset. But Helga's not bad to you guys. She cares about you. You think she really cares about us? Of course. I mean, she goes out of her way to make sure everything's great in the house. I mean, she even cut the lawn the other night. Dad... She makes me and Jennifer do all of the chores around the house and doesn't let us do our homework when we need to. What are you talking about? I was the one who cut the lawn the other night, Dad. She took me out of studying and said it wasn't important and that I had to go mow the lawn. Really? Yeah, and Jennifer wasn't lying about doing the groceries, except she had to carry them all home across town. It's like four miles, Dad. I don't believe you, Aaron. I can't believe that you would say this stuff. I mean, my gosh. No, Dad, it really hurts my feelings that you don't trust me anymore. You really think that me and Jennifer would lie about something like this? I think so. I mean, this seems so unreasonable. So you really don't trust me? No, of course not. You've been lying to me all night. Wow, Helga really's turned you into the worst, too. I'm just going to go home, Dad. You can keep your ice cream. Jeez, what's his problem? I have no idea. He was just spouting off more lies about you. Well, we were out eating ice cream, and then he just stormed off. What a weird kid. 
I know, I don't know what's going on with him. Well, you know what? The trip sounds even better now. We'll be away from him and all of his weird attitude swings. <coughs> Jennifer, what's wrong? Ow, oh, Dad, I hit my head. My gosh, are you okay? Do you need to go to the hospital? I don't know. It really hurts. It's okay. Dad's here. I'm going to take care of you. Aw, oh, jeez. Now we have this one screaming? What's all the commotion in here? Helga, she just hit her head. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I did. Shows how much you care. Yeah, you didn't rush up the stairs when you heard her scream. Well, uh, I don't know. Uh, thought I heard the neighbors talking outside or something. My, my TV show was on in the background. I, I don't know. I just didn't feel like it, all right? Dad, look. See? She's horrible. She doesn't care at all. My gosh, I can't believe it. You really don't care, do you, Helga? This is all making sense to me now. No, this is just ridiculous. What do you mean I don't care? I wouldn't have bought you that trip if I didn't care. You bought the trip with my money, not yours. Well, yeah, but you're coming with me, aren't you? Not anymore. Get out of my house, Helga. I don't want you around here anymore. Well, fine. I don't want to be around you and your brats any longer either. I'm out. I can't believe it. You let us skip school and go on vacation with you? Yes, the two of you deserve it. And it was very nice of the hotel to get me a third ticket so both of you guys could come. I know, this is awesome, Dad. Thanks so much. It's the least I could do, kids. I'm really sorry I didn't believe you about Helga. Well, that's all right, Dad. We still love you anyway. Yeah, we love you, Dad. And I love both of you as well. And from now on, I'll try to listen to you guys more and pay attention. I shouldn't have been so stubborn. Come on, Dad, we're on vacation now. Let's just have a good time. Yeah, this cruise is awesome. I'll race you guys to the pool. No, 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 I hate it. I hate it. Take it away. No, no, thank you. Um, what seems to be the problem? The problem is this is a boy. I don't want a son. I want a daughter. Well, I'm sorry, ma'am, but you definitely had a little baby boy. He's very healthy. That's good and all, but I want a girl. Take this away. Ma'am, I can't just take your baby like that. That's not how this works. What am I supposed to do? Take the baby home and care for it. What a stupid idea. But fine, if it's my only option... Wow, this is the best day of my life. I could not be more proud of you. Aw, oh, thanks, Mom. I really appreciate it. You know, I really think I do have a good shot at winning this academic competition. I mean, the first few rounds were hard, but... No, 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 no. Don't you but. You are going to do this, Missy. You are a shining star. Thanks, Mom. I just can't wait to win myself a scholarship. Hey, Mom, guess what? I got through the first round. Seriously? Finn, are you kidding me? What? I thought you'd be happy. Here you are, trying to take away the sunshine from your sister's big day. I just thought you'd be proud of me. I'm trying to get into college, too. I don't care about that. And I don't want to hear your voice for the rest of the night. Got that? Oh, man, I am so hungry. Hey, Marie, where's my dinner? Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. I don't think Mom made you one. Seriously, again? Yeah, sorry. I mean, there might be some cracker crumbs in the cupboard if you want to look. I don't want to eat cracker crumbs for dinner. I want real food. Where is mom? I don't know. I think maybe she's out back. Mom, what are you doing? Oh, me? <laughs> look, I am not going to let you ruin your sister's chances of winning a college scholarship. All that stuff was going to help me with the competition. It's supposed to get me into college. I don't care about that. I care about your sister getting into college. You're just a horrible person. You don't care about me at all. You're right. I don't. And I never wanted you. Just so you know. Fine. If you don't want me, then I'll leave. All right. If I just carefully put this in here, the reaction should be minimal. Hey, Grandpa. Oh, you. Finn, you messed up my experiment. What are you doing here? I really need your help. Mom burnt all my notebooks. It was all the stuff I needed for my competition. Notebooks, huh? Science project? Yeah. Let's see what I got here. 
Hmm. Yeah, here's some old science notes and papers that I've had. You can take them. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. Now, they should get you through that competition. You'll probably win first place. Well, I hope so. I really need to get into school, and Mom's definitely not going to help me. Finn, I have to say, you are doing excellent. You've got so much potential. Wow, thanks so much. I can't believe I passed the next round. With your fast work and your bright mind, you're going to go far, trust me. It's crazy, you're neck and neck with your sister in this competition. Yeah, I know. She's really smart, too. Well, keep up the good work. You've got a bright future ahead of you. Excuse me? Oh, hi, Mom. Did you see me win the next round? I did. And where did you get those notes? Well, I went and asked Grandpa, and he let me borrow them. What? Are you kidding me? You went to your grandfather? Yeah. I mean, you burnt all my other notebooks. He was the only person I could go to for help. I've told you a million times to stay away from him. Don't you listen? I don't know why you hate Grandpa Rick so much. He's so nice. He can get a little grumpy, but he's usually nice. I am your mother, Finn, and I make the rules around here. So what I say goes. I tell you not to see him, you don't see him. Well, I had no other choice. Well, now I have no choice. You're in serious trouble. Oh, man, Finn, focus. Where is it? Where did you leave it? Oh, no. I can't find that notebook anywhere. Finn, we're leaving without you. No, no, wait, Mom. Hold on just a second. Oh, I gotta keep looking. What? No. No, she's leaving without me. Oh, this is awful. If I miss this round, I won't get the scholarship. I've got to find that notebook. Maybe it's in here. I knew it. Mom hid the notebook in her room. Oh, man, I've got to get to the competition on time. Oh, how am I going to get there? I can't run. I'll call Grandpa Rick. I'll see if he can give me a ride. Congratulations, Marie. Wait a minute, Finn. What are you doing here? Well, I was coming to the competition. You guys left without me. Is it already over? It is already over, and your sister's already won. No, oh, man. And hold up. Wait a minute. What is he doing here? Oh, come on, Lisa. Don't act like that. You have no right to be here. And you have no right to treat me the way you do. Why are you so mad at me? Because you never spent any time with me. I was never good enough for you. Well, that's not true. You told me time and time again all you wanted was a son. And, well, you got me. What? Really? Grandpa Rick, is that true? Uh, it was a long time ago. Why don't you just leave, Dad? Come on, Mom. Grandpa Rick's the only one that supports me. Why don't you go live with him? What? Seriously? Yeah. If you want his support so bad, stay with him. Marie, get in the car. We're going. Hey, Grandpa Rick. I made it. I think this is all my stuff. Yeah, it's about time you showed up. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm just, just really upset. Upset about what? Not winning the competition. Not getting into college and everything going on with Mom. I don't know. I just don't know what to do now. Well, you just gotta figure something out. I just feel like a total disappointment. A failure. Well, I mean, you did fail, so I guess you're right there. What is that supposed to mean? Well, you failed the competition. You couldn't even show up on time. But that wasn't my fault. And you had to use my notebooks to get yourself through it. You couldn't even do the work by yourself. But I just needed a little help, that's all. I just think it's time you just give up on this stupid dream of yours. Grandpa Rick, that's kind of hurtful. Well, it's the truth. Well, now I can kind of see what Mom was talking about. You are mean. Ugh. <laughs> Whatever. Well, I'm going to prove you wrong and mom wrong. I'm going to get into college one way or another. All right, here it is. The college I want to go to. I hope I can get in. I'm going to do whatever it takes. If I really want it and I work hard, anything's possible. Yeah, no, this isn't possible. I'm really sorry. What do you mean it's not possible? Well, I can't accept you into this college. You've got no funding. You've got no parental support. You need, like, a scholarship or something to get into this school. Well, I tried that, but I couldn't get one. Yeah, probably because you're just too dumb to go to school. Hey, that's not true. Just give me a chance, okay? No, you're not getting into this school. Well, I'm going to prove myself. I'm going to get into this school one way or another. Yeah, yeah, good luck. Get out of here. Stop wasting my time. I've got real student applications to go through here. Stupid notebook. Stupid grandpa. I'm gonna do this on my own. I don't need help from anybody. 
Finn, hey, it's so good to see you. Hey, Marie, how are you liking school so far? I love it. It's awesome. It's actually kind of funny. I mean, I have everything that you've ever wanted, including mom's support. Ouch, Marie. True, but mean. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I kind of meant it as a joke. I mean, you are right. I really wanted to go to school so bad, and I guess it's just never going to happen for me. I don't know. I wouldn't say that's true. I tried so hard to win that competition. I mean, I'm really happy that you did, but I just really wanted that scholarship. Well, you know what's kind of funny about all of this? Is that I never wanted any of this. Wait, seriously? Yeah, I never wanted to win that competition. I never wanted to have to study every single minute of every single day. But mom made me. And mom didn't even give me a chance. Wow. But you know what? We have tons of books and computers and stuff like that on campus. Why don't you hang out here and use it for your advantage? Really? You'd let me do that? Of course. And you could spend time with me. Well, I do kind of miss you. You seem to be the only person in my family that cares about me. Of course. But stop being so dramatic. Come on, let's hang out. I don't think this was a good idea coming here, Marie. Oh, come on. You and mom just have to reconnect and things can get better. Yeah, we'll see about that. Marie! Darling, how are you? Wait, what's Finn doing here? Hey, mom, trust me. I don't want to be here either. This was Marie's idea. Yeah, mom, I want to get you guys together to tell you something. Well, what is it, darling? Oh, this isn't going to be easy to say, but uh, I'm quitting school. It's not my passion. I don't want to do it, so I'm not going to do it. I can't believe this. Everything we worked for, everything you worked for, Finn, this is all your fault. How is this my fault? Because you've been hanging around that school and you've been infecting her brain with your bad work ethics. I had nothing to do with it. Marie came up with this idea on her own. Yeah, mom, I know I don't want to hear it, Marie. Finn, this is your fault. I can't believe you ruined this again i can't believe i even came here and tried to talk to you it's pointless you've never cared about me at all sorry marie but i'm out of here wait finn i can do this on my own i'm gonna graduate college and show mom well it's time to pack up my stuff i finished my first year of school and with a 3.8 gpa i'm so proud of myself i knew i could do this Finn! Hey, Marie, what are you doing here? I'm here to tell you that you need to come home. Marie, you're my sister and I love you, but I'm not going home. Please, Finn, come on. I beg you, you have to talk to mom. Why? I'm not talking to mom. I hate to tell you this, but grandpa died. What? No, you're joking, right? Why would I joke like that, Finn? I'm serious. That's why you need to come home. We need to be together as a family. You're the only family I have, not mom. Finn, this isn't about you. You need to put your feelings aside. The funeral is in two days. You need to come home. Well, Grandpa, I'm really going to miss you a lot. I hope now you're finally at peace. Finn, enough. Oh, Mom, what is it now? Can't you just leave me alone? No, you're going to talk to me. And I don't want to argue right now. This isn't the place for it. Calm down, would you? You can't tell me what to do. Finn, I am your mother. Yeah, you might be my mom, but you've never acted like it. This is a bad idea. I should have never come here. Finn, wait up. What, mom? What else do you have to say now? How dumb I am? How stupid I am? What? How much you hate me? We need to fix this. I don't want to have a relationship like I did with my dad. I don't want you to resent me. Mom, you've been so cold to me ever since I was born. I know. I'm sorry. And since your grandfather passed, it's all I can think about. I should have never treated you that way. Do you have any idea how much that hurt me? All I wanted was for you to be proud of me. I am proud of you, Finn. And I'm sorry. Right now, right this instant.
Uh, hi, what's going on? What's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. The dishes, they're piled up to the heavens. What is going on here? Uh, I don't know. I, I have to go to school. I don't have time to do stuff right now. No, you have time if I say you have time. And you need to clean right this instant. No, I'm tired of cleaning up your house. I don't want to do any of this stuff anymore. I need to start focusing on my schoolwork. Look, kid, I am tired of your attitude. After all I've done for you, after all the money you've cost me, and all the things you put me through, oh, I can't stand you. You are out of here, mister. What do you mean, out of here? What are you, some kind of stupid? Did you not hear me correctly? Wait, you're really kicking me out of the house for nothing? For nothing? <laughs> How about for ruining my life? You're the worst kid ever. Get packing. But mom, please, I, I don't have anywhere to go. I'm scared. Look, that's not my problem. I really don't care anymore. You're the worst kid ever and I want you out. I, I just can't believe this. I can't believe I'm getting kicked out. I can't believe this. I can't believe my mean mom kicked me out. She's the worst person ever. She's always been so awful and now I'm stuck here all by myself. How am I gonna survive? Everything's just so bad. Hey, what's going on, Joey? Are you okay? No, Troy, I'm awful. My mom kicked me out of the house for being useless. What do you mean she kicked you out? I mean, I'm homeless. I'm gone. I'm never allowed to go back there again. She literally just told me to leave. I can't believe somebody's mom would do that to them. I know. And where am I going to go? I can't go to an orphanage and no one wants to take me in. I don't know, but you got to tell somebody. No, I got to make it on my own. I don't want anything else to change. I want to finish school and I want to be here with you and the rest of my friends. So what are you going to do? I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to figure it out. Oh, I don't know if that's such a good idea, man. I think you really need some help. You wouldn't understand, okay? Just leave me be. All right, I'll support you, whatever you want to do. Good. Now I got to figure out a plan. I need to figure out how to start my life from scratch. I need to figure out where I'm going to go from here. Gosh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm so alone out here. I know I told Troy that it wouldn't be a big deal, but where am I gonna sleep? How am I gonna eat? I don't have any money. I don't have anything. I guess, I don't know, I could try to find some money somehow or something. Maybe I could go inside the cafe and stay there for the night. There's gotta be something I can at least have for free. Uh, hey, excuse me? Yeah, hey, welcome to the cafe. Like, can I help you? Yeah, um, gosh, I don't know. Maybe can I just have some water? Yeah, sure. That'll be like four Robux, please. What, just for some water? Can't you just give me some free water? Look, man, like, I don't make up the rules. We sell water, so, like, it's not free. I, I don't know what to tell you. Do you want it or not? <sighs> I can't afford it. Look, I know this sounds weird, but can I just sit in the cafe all night and maybe just, like, rest my head on one of the tables? Wait, what? You want to, like, live here? No, you can't just, like, live in a business. But I don't have anywhere to go, and I'm really scared. I just need a safe place to stay for a little while until I can figure something out. Look, that's sad and all, but no, this really isn't my problem. Don't you have, like, a friend to go stay with or something? No, I don't have anywhere else to go. <laughs> so you're, like, homeless and alone. <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst. Look, you need to get out of here because, like, there's no loitering. Oh my gosh, thanks for nothing. Oh man, I really don't want to do this, but maybe if I beg my mom, she'll let me come home. I know that she's not always nice to me. I mean, she's never nice to me. She's horrible to me. But at least it's home. It's a place that I can rely on, and I won't have to stay out on the streets. I don't know. This seems risky, but it's worth a shot. I'm her son. She's supposed to care about me. All right, here it goes. Mom! Mom! Wait a minute. Didn't I kick you out of here? Look, Mom, I, I'm really sorry. I, I just want to stay here. Please, I'll do whatever you want me to do. Hmm. 
No, no, I, I don't want you here. I liked my life alone. It was nice and quiet. I could put my feet up and watch TV, whatever I wanted. So I don't want you here. You got that? Well, please, come on, Mom. I'm your son. You can't just let me live out in the streets. Well, yeah, I can. Because I am. You're not living here, all right? I can't believe this. I thought we were a family. I thought you cared about me, but I guess not. I can't believe I had to sleep next to this dumpster all night. Oh, the garbage smelled so bad. It's awful. At least I was able to stay warm and protected from the wind, though. Gosh, I really got to figure out a way to get some money and some food. I'm starving. This is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. I, I can't believe that my mom would do this to me. Why would she leave me out here by myself? Hey, kid. Uh, hey, what's going on? I was wondering, can I get some money? Uh, I don't have any money, man. What do you mean you don't have any money? Oh, well, I'm out here sleeping next to the garbage, just like you. I don't think that's true. It, it is true. That's why I'm standing here. I don't think it's true about the money. Now, give me everything that's in your pockets right now. No, I don't have anything. Oh, you're gonna give me your money, okay? Please, no, please. Hey, what's going on over here? <laughs> Nothing! Get on out of here quick before I call the cops! You're not gonna rob my friend! Fine! Fine! What is going on with you, man? My mom wouldn't let me go back to the house, so I had to sleep out here by the dumpster all night. Gosh, man, things are getting a lot worse. Yeah, I know, it's really terrible. Look, I I'm here for you if you need anything. I appreciate it. Well, look, we're late for school. Why don't we head over there and then we can talk later on? Yeah, that sounds good. Huh, I don't mean to be rude, man, but you are just really smelly. Oh my gosh, it's horrible. I know, but I couldn't shower because I have no other clothes. I have no money, I have nothing. Well, maybe you could go to the locker rooms and just shower there. Yeah, I know, but my clothes stink too. Oh, I don't know, man. I gotta find a way to make money and find a place to stay. Even if I could just get a tent or something. I just don't want to leave school. I want to keep working hard towards my life, you know? I know, I understand. Look. I tried. My mom won't let you stay with us. I know. I don't expect that from you anyway. But my parents do own a shop downtown. Maybe you could work there and get some extra cash. Yeah, actually, that's a great idea. I'd love that. Yeah, that would be perfect. Well, when can I start? Well, I don't know. I could ask my mom. You could probably start today after school. But you're going to have to borrow some clothes, man. You can't be smelling like that if you're going to be around customers. Yeah, whatever you guys need, I'm down. All right. Well, I hope that this helps a little bit. Yeah, it definitely does. At least boost my spirits. I think things are going to get better. Dude, I can't believe this. I'm so excited. Yeah, I'm excited for you too. This is going to be great. So what do I have to do again? Well, it's pretty easy. You make the pastries, you follow the directions, and you talk to customers. Oh, I think I can handle that. It shouldn't be too much of an issue. Yeah, it's pretty simple. I used to bake all the time back home, and I was pretty good at it. Until my mom used to tell me I was terrible, and she would take my stuff and throw it outside in the garbage and tell me that's what I was. Oh, man. Well, don't tell that sad story to the customers. No one wants to hear that. It's terrible. Okay. All right, I gotta get going. I'll talk to you later on. Don't mess up. Okay, sounds good. there sir what can i do for you oh uh, yes i'd like a blueberry coffee cake or something i don't know just bring me whatever you think is best okay sure here you go this is amazing who made this uh i did this is probably one of the best things i've ever eaten what's your name uh my name's joey well hey man this is great wow i'm really happy that's awesome i'm glad that you like it yeah me too i'm gonna have to tell everybody about this place
gotta say, we've been making a ton of money at the store thanks to you. Wow, thanks. I appreciate that. Yeah, my parents are like so excited. They can't believe this. Yeah, well, like I said, I used to cook all the time and I just took your recipes and made them a little bit better. Yeah, well, look, man, it's really impressive my parents and they've kind of had to change of heart. What do you mean? They said that you could stay with us in a room if you want to rent it. My gosh, that would be awesome. It'd be so much better than sleeping outside in the dumpster. Yeah, I'll let them know that you're interested. Wow, thanks. This is incredible. Gosh, it's busy. Next. Well, look who it is, if it isn't my little shining star of a son, Joey. What are you doing here? Look, I've been dying to try this bakery and here I am. I'm so proud of you, son. Look how far you've come. Proud of me? You kicked me out. What are you talking about, proud of me? You always hated me. Ah, uh, no, no, that's not true. I am the proudest mother on earth. Don't you get that? Whatever, what do you want? I can't believe that you're even here trying to talk to me. Well, look, I'm here to tell you that, well, your punishment's over. You can come back to the house now and live with your dear old mom. What? No, why would I do that? I'm an adult now. I have my own job. Plus, you knew that I was getting successful, so you just came down here because you probably wanted my money. No, no, that's not true. How could you speak to your mother that way? After all I did, I raised you. Barely. You threw me out on the streets for no reason. Well, if I didn't do that, then you wouldn't have all this now, would you? Yeah, whatever, Mom. I guess you're right. But I've got customers to deal with, so why don't you just get out of here? What? Ugh, fine, I'll be back later. Please don't come back. You're awful. Wow, look at this place, man. I know, it's a big step up from sleeping in the garbage, huh? I can't believe this. This is awesome. I just want to thank you for giving me that chance back in the day. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have been able to grow all of my businesses. Yeah, it's no problem. I'm glad you were able to get back on your feet. Me too, and now we're partners in this thing. This is going to be great. We're going to make so much money in the future. I know. Hey, whatever happened to your Bob? I don't know. I don't talk to her. It's better that way. She's awful. She's so mean. Yeah, I, I guess that's a good thing. Yeah, I just can't have people around me that bring me down. I need to surround myself with positive people. People that try to make me succeed, not people that try to bring me down, you know? Yeah, I understand. I just hope someday she learns from her mistakes. Yeah, I do too. But whatever, man. We have a brand new opening of a store downtown. We gotta get out of here. Hey, uh, Mom, there's uh, kind of someone that I want you to meet. Just be cool. Uh, it's it's not a big deal, but I'm just, uh, I'm excited for you to, to meet her. Oh, yeah? Who is it? It's a friend. <clears throat> uh, this is Sarah. Hey, how are you? It's so nice to meet you. Gabe's told me a lot about you. Oh, excuse me? You think you could just walk into my house and talk to me? Um, yeah. I'm sorry. Uh, Gabe, did I do something? Wrong? No, 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 no. Uh, mom, mom, this is Sarah. She's, uh, she's my girlfriend. I, I don't understand why you, why you're freaking out right now. This girl just walked into my house like she owned the place and then just started talking to me? Oh, no, no, no. That does not happen. You need to speak when spoken to, lady. You're awful. I don't like you already. Wow, um, okay. Well, uh, 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 I'm really sorry. Well, you should be. Get out of my house now. Okay, bye. <laughs> Sarah, I am so sorry about that. I don't know what got into her. Uh, she's never like that. Look, Gabe, I hate to say this, but I don't think we should be together. We should break up. Your mom's awful. I don't care what she thinks, okay? I, I want to be with you, and I don't think that we should let my mom get in between us. I mean, she's crazy, okay? I don't know why she acted like that, but come on. We, we have to stay together. Look, Gabe, I would really like to, but your mom is a big part of your life. And if she doesn't like me now, she probably never will. That's not true. Trust me. One day, she'll understand 
and and she'll like you. And listen, we don't have to tell her about it. We can just continue dating, and we don't have to tell my mom, and everything will be cool. So you want to keep me a secret, Giba? I don't know. This doesn't sound like a good idea. Your mom will be extra mad if she finds out you're keeping a secret. I don't think it's that big of a deal. I think she'll completely understand when the time is right, we'll tell her. But for now, maybe we don't have to? Feels a little wrong, but Gabe, I really care about you and I want to be with you. So if we have to keep it a secret from your mom, I guess we should do it. Thank you. Yes. It, it won't be weird at all. We'll be totally fine. Okay. I'm trusting you. What is this? Are you serious right now? Oh, no, 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 no. This is not good. My son disobeyed me and I am not happy about it. Not one bit. You know what? I'm going to have to teach that girl a lesson to stay away from my cave. <laughs> this will teach her. Oh, shoot. We're going to be late for our movie. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, you're right. But hold on. I I'm going to go get some snacks from my car because the prices here are ridiculous. Wait a minute. Um, what is going on? My car! It's on fire! Oh no! You need to stay away from my son. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this! Gabe! She's insane. I don't know why she would do this. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh, who's gonna pay for all this damage? Sarah, I am so sorry. I can't believe she would do that to you. I'm so sorry. I'm so, 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 so sorry. Gabe, it's okay. I mean, she really did go far lighting my car on fire. My dad said he'll get me a new car anyways. There's no way she can stop us from seeing each other, okay? I promise this will never happen again. I know. She really needs to, like, take a step back or something because I feel like we make each other happy. And shouldn't that be all that matters? Definitely. Gabe, there you are. Hi. Well, I gotta talk to you, sir. Uh... Am I in trouble? <laughs> no, no, not at all. I got a message earlier today. You're transferring schools now. Are you serious? No. Principal Jackson, uh, that can't be true. Why is this happening? My grades are fine. I'm doing well. Why are you transferring me to another school? Oh, no. Yeah, listen, I really don't know what's going on here. I'm just told to relay the message, okay? I'm just a principal, all right? You're transferring schools now. You gotta pack up your locker and you gotta go. I can't believe this is happening. What's going on? Why am I going to a new school? Well, you see, Gabe, darling, you're actually gonna be homeschooled. So that way you can be closer to mom. <laughs> Doesn't that sound wonderful? Homeschooled? What, you're gonna be my new teacher? Oh yeah, your new teacher, your new lunch lady, your new principal, your new janitor, everything. Homeschool is here with your lovely mother. Doesn't that sound beautiful? No, that sounds like a, a nightmare. Why are you doing this to me? Why do you want to ruin my life? Are you trying to tell me that you don't want to spend time with your loving mother? <gasps> Gabe, I raised you better than that. No, of course I want to spend time with you. I just don't want to spend every day with you as my teacher. You're being homeschooled and that's it. You're going to like it. Wait, you're only doing this so I can't spend time with Sarah. Yeah. That's true. You got a problem with that? What do you have against Sarah? Why can't you just let us be together? Gabe, I'm your mother and I make the rules around here. I don't want you dating that girl. I don't even want you to date until you're in your 40s. My 40s? Mom, what are you talking about? I don't want you to date, all right? I'm probably gonna be dead by then. Oh man, you're the worst, I hate you. Gabe? What are you doing here? My mom said she's gonna homeschool me. Are you serious? So you're not really transferring to another school? She's just gonna keep you at home? Yeah, it's crazy. That's a whole lot of time with your mom. Honestly, I'm thinking about just running away. Running away? That's kind of extreme, but I feel like it might be your only option. All I want is to spend time with you. I just want to be with you. And my mom doesn't get that, so why would I stay with her? Yeah, that's a good point, Gabe. But look, I really appreciate you trying to make our relationship work. You're really going above and beyond. You're so caring. I don't care what she thinks about it. Do you have any idea where you're going to stay? To be honest, I don't know. Look, Gabe, just make sure you're safe. I don't want you to get in any more trouble than you'll probably already be in. 
am so worried about Gabe. He, he didn't show up for his science experiment. I hope that Sarah girl hasn't kidnapped him. Oh my goodness. You know what? I'm sure that's it. I am sure that's it. I'm calling the cops. I need to find my son. Officer, officer! Oh my goodness, my son, he's missing, and we need to find him right away. This is an emergency. Ma'am, relax. Everything's going to be fine, okay? We'll find your son. Don't worry about it. Look, he's been gone for like 15 minutes. That time's wasting. We need to find him ASAP. Wait, he, your son's been gone for 15 minutes? Yeah, isn't that awful? It feels like a lifetime. Ma'am, we can't file a missing persons report unless they've been missing for more than 24 hours. Are you serious? So what you're trying to tell me is that my beautiful son, Gabe, is not a priority to you? Ma'am, do you have any idea how many people live in the city of Brookhaven? I understand your son is important to you, but this is the law, okay? You know what? I don't need you anyway. Get out of my house right this instant. Ma'am, do you have any idea who you're speaking to right now? Yeah, a good for nothing police officer who won't go find my son. Get out. I gotta go find him myself. Yeah, you know what? I'm out of here. Good luck, lady. All right, you. Tell me where Gabe is right now. Uh, I don't know. I haven't seen him since after school. Liar. You're a filthy liar. You know where he is and you're not telling me. No, that's not true. I have no idea where he is. I told you, I haven't seen him since after school. You expect me to believe that? <laughs> Look, girl, I wasn't born yesterday. Now tell me where my son is or else. Please, uh, I've told you for the millionth time, I, I don't know where he is. All right, if you're not going to tell me the truth, maybe this will make you tell the truth. Oh my gosh, no, stop, what are you doing? No, oh my gosh, my house, it's on fire. Oh man, what am I doing here? This dumpster smells terrible. Oh, I'm so hungry, why didn't I pack food? Oh, what am I gonna do? I can't keep living on the streets. Gabe, Gabe, oh my gosh. I'm so glad I found you. Sarah, what are you doing here? How'd you find me? I, I don't know, I just had a feeling that you'd be here. I mean, when you live on the streets, it's kind of a given you live by a dumpster, right? But anyway, I have something crazy to tell you. You won't believe what just happened. What is it? Is something wrong? It's your mom! She just burnt down my house! What? That's actually insane! I'm so sorry! I really think we need to do something about it! She can't be burning down my house! I mean, it's my house! Where am I supposed to live? This can't keep happening! What do we do? I, I don't know. Should we call the cops or something? No, no, we can't do that. What if we go together and just talk to her? Let's face her. Together. Mom, we have to talk. What are you doing with her in my house? Mom, we need to talk about this. You're acting crazy and you need to stop doing all these crazy things. Me? Acting crazy? <laughs> You've got the wrong mother. I am not crazy. Mom, you literally set her car on fire and burned down her entire house. That's a little crazy to me. I don't know what I ever did to you, but... Burning down my house is next level. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I did go a little too far. It's all because I can't stand to see you grow up. You're my little son. And uh, pretty soon you're gonna be leaving the nest and having a family of your own and you're gonna forget all about me. Mom, that's not true. I'm not gonna forget about you. You just need to understand that old enough to know what I want. Well, now that you say that, I feel terrible. And if this girl is what makes you happy, then I guess I gotta deal with it. Yeah, Sarah's really cool. You know, I love her a lot. All I want is for you to accept her and make her feel welcomed. And I love your son. He's awesome. You did a really good job raising him. I think just maybe we got off on the wrong foot. Yeah, you know, I think we did. How about you stay for dinner, Sarah? Uh, okay. That sounds great. <laughs> 